So in the grand scheme of things, this is not a major change to the way Game Maker works overall, but I think it's going to be a welcome one uh, to a number of you. So uh, I am on a different computer than I usually am when I record these Game Maker videos. This is just basically a laptop that has never until about a half hour ago had Game Maker installed on it. And starting with the February 2023 betas to Game Maker, you may notice that you are able to open it up and start using it and start making games without ever having to be logged in. So I'm going to create myself a project, let's just call it test because I'm lazy and can't be bothered to think of another name. And uh, you may have seen that on the welcome screen it said hello unknown user instead of hello whatever email you're logged in with. And uh, to simply use Game Maker, you no longer have to sign in or create a YoYo Games account even or do any of that sort of thing. So I can go and let's say create myself a room, um, I mean an object, and we can put that in the room and we can have a, uh, a sprite or something. And I'm just going to make this a boring old red square. I want this to be I want this to be something that gets on the screen quickly. And we can uh, we can use the paint bucket. We can assign that sprite to this object and we can run the game and have it work. And that took a long time and totally ruined the pacing of my speech because this computer's HDD is terrible and it takes forever to do anything. And you can see that we can run a game maker game uh, without having to be signed in. Uh, this happens to be in the Opera GX, using the Opera GX target uh, by default, uh, so it did open in a browser. Um, if you wanted to open it and like, have it run on Windows, then you could uh, set, the, uh, set the target to test, uh, which is basically the, the, the default Windows um, build if you do not have a license which lets you like, actually export to Windows. And um, wow, that opened a lot faster. I should have done that instead of waiting for the browser. Anyway, you can do all this. Uh, you don't have to be signed into Game Maker for regular use. You'll notice a few things that are different. Uh, most of them are pretty uh, straightforward and obvious as to why. Uh, you can use the Marketplace tab when you're signed out, so you can't like go on go on the Marketplace and download assets and like review them and whatever. I those are tied to your Yoyo Games account. Uh, there is no on offline Marketplace access for better or for worse. You'll also notice that the uh, the build uh, icon is grayed out, and if you go into the menu, the create executable um, icon is grayed out. Uh, interestingly, create executable and launch is not, and it seems that that actually just like didn't do anything. Um, thanks, Yo-Yo Games, a very beta feature. Uh, nothing with the licensing has changed. You still need a license if you want to be able to export anything. Uh, you still need a um, a subscription if you want to be able to build for Windows. Now, aside from those two things and some of the features in the IDE that relate to your account directly, such as, for example, the log out button, um, the IDE when you're not signed in works pretty much as it does when you are signed in as a free user. So if you know anyone who wants to just download and mess around with Game Maker without having to deal with like downloading it and creating an account and whatever as if it was actually like a free trial, it just got that much easier because you no longer have to have an account to simply use the IDE. Now, it's always a little bit weird to use a capture card to record a desktop computer, but um, this thing's HDD being what it is, if I try to run OBS on it, it might actually just like catch on fire, uh, which I don't really want. I can get rid of that and um, I can uh, have that go away and I can bring up Game Maker. So just to just to show off exactly how fully featured um, the uh, the beta IDE is when you're signed out, uh, this is uh, this is the WizardX project. I'm just gonna run it just in like regular execution mode. Uh, so that you can see it running. Uh, this is going to take a minute to build because there is a little bit of a little bit of compiling that it has to do first. And the game is going to build and run. Uh, I am I am signed into the IDE, and I can do all the usual things. I can like go and create myself a new game and and play the game and whatever. So um, that's running. Uh, you can also log out of the IDE just from the just from the account button. Uh, that will. Okay, that was actually faster than, than it was when I tried doing this earlier. Uh, it'll just log you out, it won't even boot you out of the project or kick you back to the uh, the home screen or whatever. And from here you should be able to, it's, it's gonna run on GX, isn't it? I don't actually know if WizardX functions on GX. Um, I'm gonna set that back to test. Uh, from here you can, um, you can, you can build and run the game again. And that's gonna take another 30 seconds or so. I was expecting the IDE to freeze for a moment while it logged me out, but it didn't seem to do that, so that's cool. And once again, uh, even though I am signed out, I can I can run the game. And this is not a this is not exactly a small project. Um, it does have a have a bunch of configuration. Um, it's got a bunch of and I haven't counted in a while. Probably 40, 50 thousand lines of code in it. A bunch of shaders, a bunch of texture groups. This is not a small project. But there's nothing that the IDE simply refuses to do just because I'm signed out. 
Anyway, the point of all this, if you have a Game Maker account, and if you're watching this video, you probably care enough about it to have a Game Maker account already, so this doesn't really affect you in any way. Um, if you have a Game Maker account, there's really no point in using the IDE when you're signed out. Uh, the two benefits of this that I see are, one, for new users, I mentioned this earlier, uh, someone who just wants to play around with the engine without having to create an account or whatever. And also, uh, for the more power users, perhaps, if you happen to switch between versions of the IDE frequently, so if you happen to uh, switch between LTS and monthly and the beta versions of Game Maker, uh, sometimes you will find yourself getting logged out more often than usual. And if you don't need anything such as the marketplace, or if you don't need to use, uh, for example, the create executable button when you're just experimenting with things in the beta, this can mean that you can simply just use stuff in the beta and mess around with stuff in the beta without having to worry about it messing with your licenses on the, uh, the versions that you actually use for production work. Which you should not be using the beta for, because when things are in beta, they are still in the testing phase, they can break at any moment, and the last thing that you want is to have a significant amount of progress to race because you're using a feature that was unstable and not ready for production. Anyway, that's a change to the way the license works. Uh, nothing major, but a welcome change nonetheless. Uh, I'm gonna end things off here. My name is Michael, I like wizards and dragons and making games. I hope you all found this knowledge useful, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Army Armbuster, DJ Gibbles, Edward Holt, Game Maker, Gamer Player, Harold Guidry, Manta Ray, Syndra Larson, Square Crow, Vitro V, and Zengiment for supporting these videos. If you want to contribute to the channel, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.